The following segment is sponsored by Maryland Oncology Hermatology. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and according to the American Lung Association, it's the leading cancer-related killer in the nation, but it's very preventable. So Dr. Narang of Maryland Oncology Hermatology wants to share advice about prevention and treatment. Uh, Dr. Narang, welcome to Great Day Washington. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Uh, enjoying the fall weather, which is now cold. Definitely. So, Doc, tell us about your background in oncology and how long have you been practicing? Uh, so, yeah, my name is Mohit Narang. I've been in a practice now close to uh, 17 years. I uh, started my career from Cincinnati, then I was in Michigan and Arkansas for a while, and then I'm here with Maryland Oncology Hematology in Columbia, uh, Maryland. So tell us, you know, let's talk about lung cancer. What is lung cancer and what are some ways that you can potentially get it? Sure. You know, the lung cancer is the most common cancer in the world now. Unfortunately, um, this happens because of smoking. The 90% of the cancer we are seeing is related to smokers. Certainly, we are also noticing that the people who smoke, they have increased over 60% increased risk to get uh, lung cancer. Uh, on a good set, that we are noticing that uh, as our smoking has decreased in America, we are seeing a decreased rate of having lung cancer. Other reasons is asbestos. We are seeing because of that exposure, uh, increased risk for lung cancer. Uh, we also see it from radon, that's the other risk, and some radiation. That is also the cause of the increased risk for lung cancer. How is it treated once you've been diagnosed with so, lung cancer? Yeah, so it is certainly based on the stage of the lung cancer. If it's an, on an early stage, like a stage one or two, we can have it surgically removed and prevent the cancer to come back. In some people whom we cannot do surgery, we can do localized radiation. This is for local stage one and two. If it's a stage three, we can do chemotherapy plus radiation. But if it's a stage four, we have options like chemotherapy and non-chemotherapy agents. Certainly in this last five to six years, this treatment has is no more chemotherapy. We're using immune therapy, we are using targeted treatment, and the patients are living way much more longer as compared to five years ago. That's great to hear the advances in technology, Doc. So can you give us some preventive tips that we can do to lower our risk of lung cancer? Sure. The first thing is uh, don't smoke. That's the easiest or the hardest. Uh, will decrease our risk of getting lung cancer. Second, it's been shown in some studies eating vegetables and fruits can decrease the odds of having lung cancer. Uh, three is uh, preventing the exposure to asbestos. So these are the reasons we could prevent to get a lung cancer. And then other thing is people who have been smoking for close to 20 plus years and are aged with 50 to 70, there are studies now and it's recommended to undergo low dose CT scans on a yearly basis to detect the lung cancer at the earliest stage. Dr. you thanks so much for this information. Before you, go, before you go, we wrap things up. I see more people uh, smoking cigars, men and women. Uh, you know, are you concerned about that? That and vaping, are you concerned about that? Yes, Would you brought this out. I would also agree not only cigars, vaping, and also marijuana, because this is a newer um, things. We don't have much data, but looking at the limited studies we have, they could also be causing increased risk for lung cancer. All the data is limited right now. Great job, Doc. Thank you so much. And we appreciate this information. Thanks for joining us on Great Day Washington. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. For more information about the services that Maryland Oncology Hematology has to offer, visit MarylandOncology.com.